Hi guys, good to see you again. How is it going? So, what news do I have for you? I've got this new, brand new, new model of the pinpointer made by the company MindLab. It's called Profind 40. So, interesting. What has changed from the previous models? Because I have been used for many years, you know, the Garrett pinpointers, uh, the MindLab pinpointers, Sphinx pinpointers, and all of that stuff. But actually, I never liked the MindLab pinpointers and there's some reasons why the main reason was that it's actually pretty slow pinpointers yes when you turn it on then you should wait until it will calibrate itself so i hope that they really fixed that issue and uh, only because of that slow operation i preferred always uh, the pinpointer from garrett for example pro pointer at was one of the best pinpointers in the world right now and now i prefer mostly the sphinx magnetic pinpointers because in that case you should turn it on only once and then you simply put it back to the holster and uh, it turns off and it turns on automatically when you put it back or take it off uh, of the holster so what has changed here in the mine lab profile 40 i think it's a good question it's a really good question because uh, when i started to read what's written here on the box it, they claim that, okay, increased depth 10% more compared with Profine 35. Well, why do we need a depth in metal in the pinpointer? We need the depth for the metal detector and not for the pinpointer. Because uh, with the pinpointer, all what I want is just to localize the target. And in case if I can't localize the target, then uh, for sure I'm starting to check the hole again with the metal detector and I don't need the depth. I want more sensitivity to the small targets, to the jewelry, for example, to really difficult targets. And I want to have and see in every pinpointer the stable operation in a highly mineralized ground. So that means that I can use it in the water in the salt water, in the salt sand beach, wet sand beach for sure, when I'm going, when I'm out detecting, you know, somewhere in that area. And uh, here they claim, okay, we are giving you increased depth, 10% more. Great, good for you. Five levels of sensitivity, on-demand calibration. Well, it's not a feature. Every, everybody <laughs> has it right now in the pinpointer. You simply click the button once, Press it shortly and then you will hear a small beep, meaning that the pinpointer has been calibrated. So lost alarm, as usual, very important feature. Then ferrule stone ID, that's quite interesting actually, because we have here two different tones. One tone for the ferrous targets and the second tone for the non-ferrous targets. That's actually really nice when you're digging somewhere in the trashy area. So I don't know how does it work. In uh, reality, yeah, for sure, it's uh, not a proven, 100% proven technology, but at least it's something what will help us to recover more targets. And DIV technology, protect performance. Well, with DIV te technology, they mean that it wouldn't interfere with the me metal detector you are using. So at least the mine lab claims it. So let's see what's in the box. That's a box. I already opened this and there is actually nothing uh, new. So we have a holster, we have a line yard and a battery. So let's see how it feels. Actually, yes, it's a rubberized grip. The nose is made out of plastic. Here we have a cap, under cap. You'll find out the nine, nine volts battery. It's a Krona. It's called Krone battery. So well, it works pretty fast. Not bad at all. And then it goes off. So, let's test it with the small silver hammerhead coin, which I will show you right now. That's the small silver hammerhead coin, medieval one, 16th century, really small one. It's a Copic, Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> yeah, this guy had the same name like me, so <laughs> Ivan the Terrible. Let's put it over here. You see the coin? 
And now I'm turning on the pinpointer. Does it work? Yes, it works. So it's quite stable. If I push it to the ground, well, it detects. Quite nice sensitivity. Let's check it from the sides. Whoa. I don't have any metal on my hand, so you can take take a look. No, there is nothing. Really. It's a good sensitivity. Yeah. A nice result. It's quite a good result actually for this pinpointer. You see, they should change, increase depth to increase sensitivity to the small targets. And uh, that will be more informative in my opinion. So I hope that you liked this video. And I liked actually this pinpointer, the ProFind 40 Mine Lab did it well. It's quite a good result for the Mine Lab after too many years. Congratulations, you did it really really well <laughs> so something has changed in the mine lab recently they just updated the manticore now they uh, released the equinox 700 and 900 which i also like which are also very nice metal detectors so guys if you like this video then i want to have a like from you and write down in the comments do you have this pinpointer what is your experience with that do you have any issues with that pinpointer? It's waterproof up to 3 meters actually. So maybe, I don't know, it's leaking in the water. Please let me know if you know something or at least you have something. So we'll be in touch guys. And uh, see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel. It will really help me to grow in the YouTube. Thanks. See you. Bye.